Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel for another weekly Manjaro update. We are at the end of week three, so let's go ahead and jump into all of the details, including how much weight I lost this week. So this week, I actually have a pretty good amount of stuff to talk to you guys about. I wrote it all down so that I wouldn't forget anything um, because I felt like this week was really um, sort of a turning point or a, a difference from the previous two weeks. So the first thing that I want to talk about with you guys is some symptoms or side effects of the Manjaro that I've heard other people say and they're good side effects, um, but I had yet to experience until this week. So the first one that I want to mention is a difference in my skin. My skin has cleared up astronomically. It really started, I would say, the end of week two and then all through week three. I am somebody who is very acne prone. However, I have noticed significant clearing in my face um, and that has really been like amazing and I really hope that it keeps up. Um, so clear skin for sure, I have noticed. The second one um, is better sleep. So actually the first two weeks, week and a half, I would say that I was sleeping pretty bad. And I think that was my body adjusting to the Phentermine because that is a stimulant. And so it can, you know, keep you up or make you more likely to have sleep issues. But over the past week, I would say that I am sleeping so good now. I was about to say like a baby, but babies don't sleep. So I hate that saying, but I'm sleeping very well now. Um, I'm not waking up hardly at all throughout the night. And I'm somebody that would wake up two, three times a night. That is another thing that I've heard a few different YouTube people that are doing uh, Manjaro injections mention is that their sleep quality is better um, in addition to the clearer skin. And those are two things that I definitely experienced in week three. Um, and then the third one is that I've had more energy. So I would say that week one, when I first started the Phentermine, um, I had a ton of energy, right? Because it is a stimulant. And then week two, I feel like I was just kind of my normal me, you know, um, like my body had gotten a little bit used to the stimulant. And so I was just, you know, my normal amount of energy. And then week three, now I feel again, this sort of burst of energy. And what I think is going on, um, and you can correct me if you think that I am wrong, but, um, I have, you know, I'm ending the third week. So about to do my last two and a half milligram shot. And I know that the first month of Manjaro is really like this building startup dose where you kind of get introduced the medicine into your system and then it kind of slowly takes its full effect. And I think I'm, you know, getting to that point where uh, the Manjaro is fully in my system, fully doing what it's supposed to do. And that is why I'm now seeing all these other benefits of it in addition to the decreased appetite. That's my opinion. I don't really know if that's scientific, but that's kind of how I'm looking at it. But those are three very good side effects, I would say, that I've had this week. So I wanted to be sure to touch on those first before I touched on the not so great things. So um, last week I mentioned that I, and well, every video I've made since I started Monjaro, I have mentioned that I I'm struggling with constipation and I know that it's not just me because all of you comment and talk about constipation. My sister and my mom are both doing Manjaro injections as well. And my sister's like, I go like once a week now. And that's, uh, it's once or twice, I would say a week for me as well. Um, and I've sort of just come to the conclusion that that is normal. Your body is slowing digestion down in your stomach. So I would assume it would slow down in your intestines since it's all connected. Again, I don't know if that's science, just thinking about it that way. Um, but I will say that I have increased to um, two colases a day. So the bottle says that you can take up to three of them. Um, so I've been taking one in the morning and one at night. And I do think that's helping make it so when I do go, um, it's more comfortable and easier to go. That's kind of what I'm gonna say about that. So still having the issue, but I think I'm slowly kind of figuring it out. Um, and it's not so bad that it's like causing me extreme discomfort or anything like that. Now, another thing this week is that I actually felt 
hungrier. And I think that is for one big reason. I had, um, or started my cycle this week. And I think it has to do with that. I am somebody who does crave, um, like sweets and just more food in general when I am on my cycle. Um, and so I, I think a little bit of that just kind of poked through. I didn't give in and eat anything. I don't think that I was supposed to. There was one day that I had like a small handful of um, the Brooks, Brookstone, Brookside, Brookside chocolates, you know, the little chocolate covered uh, pomegranates and blueberries. I had a small handful of those one day because I just really wanted something sweet. But there was also a couple of days this week that I felt hungry like my stomach actually growled and that was the first time i would say since i started manjaro and it was on the day i started my cycle which was yesterday tuesday and then also today on wednesday i was really hungry at lunchtime so i'm actually filming this at like 2 or 1 30 in the afternoon you guys are seeing it at 4. um so when i had lunch today i was starving we were out um, and about, so I ran through the Chick-fil-A drive through to just get some grilled chicken nuggets or chicken bites or whatever they call them. And I ordered a 12 pack or a 12 count because I was like, oh, I'm like starving. And I ate like five of them, maybe six of them. And then I couldn't eat anymore. So I was hungry, but I still couldn't eat a lot, if that makes sense, which that was something that I had not experienced up until this point either. But I do think it all goes back to my cycle. I usually am hungry around this time of the month. So I think it just kind of poked through a little bit. Um, I did have earlier in the week up until like yesterday, um, the constant full feeling, no matter what I ate, no matter how long it had been since I ate that I talked about last week, I had that again this week until yesterday. And also it could have been a combination of my cycle and the, um, you know, towards the end of the week, a lot of people say like right before their next shot, a couple days before they do feel more hungry than they do the rest of the week. So it's probably a combination of both of those things, but I thought I would mention it. Um, you know, I only have one more dose of the two and a half and then we're going up to the five. So hopefully, yeah, it wasn't any crazy hunger that I wasn't able to control and stick still within my um, calorie goal for the day, um, which a lot of people, while I'm on that subject, a lot of people have asked, you know, kind of what amount of calories I'm eating. Um, I talked to my doctor and I know, I think this is the amount that Chrissy said she is eating as well. Chrissy don't even know me. I just watch all her videos. And so I mention her all the time, but, um, she mentioned that she eats between like 900 and 1200 calories a day. I would say I'm probably 11 to 1200 calories a day. Um, and if I try, like I can, I can't force myself to eat any more than that. It's just kind of when I'm done and I'm done. So, um, that's what I've been doing. It's been working. And I did kind of touch base with that. My doctor and I had a, um, Skype, visit or virtual visit recently last week and we went over it and he was absolutely fine with that amount. He said 11 to 1200, you really don't wanna go below that amount. So wanted to touch on that as well. So we talked about the colace. Okay, I would say, okay, two more things. So I have a very dry mouth. I haven't mentioned this one yet, but that is the Fentermeme from all the research that I have been able to do and that I've found it's the Fentermeme. I've been drinking a lot of water, still just kind of flooding myself with water, which makes all of the medicines work better, the Fentermine and the Manjaro. So I do that and it helps a lot, but I thought I would mention it. If I'm like up doing something or, you know, say I go to the grocery store and I'm walking around a store for 30 minutes, when I get out, my throat is extremely dry and my lips are really chapped. And I think that is just all a side effect of the Fentermine. And then the final thing that I wanted to talk to you about before I tell you my way. And I'm also going to show you, uh, my body today because I don't feel like I've done that yet in this, on this channel. Um, and so we can kind of get a, a point going now forward, but also kind of show you a few areas where I noticed that I've lost. So I didn't exercise at all. No, one time this week, I went on a pretty good, decent sized walk. That was it. I didn't, it was too cold outside. I didn't have time. That's what happened. Um, and yeah, so without further ado, um, if you've been keeping track, we were at 13 pounds lost as of two weeks. And this week I weighed this morning and I lost another 2.6 pounds, putting me at 15.6 pounds lost in three weeks. I am shocked. I was not expecting that big of a loss this week, especially with being on my period. I might've actually lost more. 
who knows? Um, cause I'm only on day two of my cycle and I usually bloat for a couple of days. So we're at 15 and a half, 16 pounds down. And I am really excited about that. I hope it continues. Um, I'd be happy with two, three pounds a week going forward until I hit my goal. Um, yeah, that's just really exciting. So, um, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and show you sort of what I look like. I'll move this chair out of the way. So this is kind of what everything is looking like now. Now I did have a tummy tuck. I've mentioned that if you're from my other channel, then you know that already. But something that I wanted to mention was that I've noticed these pants especially have gotten a ton looser and in the back. I never had um, like any room where I could squeeze back there. So I've noticed that my, my pants are getting a little bit bigger. These pants, even after my tummy tuck, they kind of hit me weird on the hips and I still wouldn't wear them because they're like a, a jean pull on type thing. Um, but they fit now and they're like you know full I, I wore them earlier when we were out and I was actually like tugging them up um most of the day so this is kind of what what I'm working with and everything one place that I would definitely like to lose weight is my arms and my thighs because since my tummy tuck I feel like those look bigger but yeah so I thought I would just kind of give you guys a little look at what I am looking like so this is at about 15 pounds down and I can definitely notice even this shirt um, I, I tried to wear it, uh, maybe three, maybe a month ago and the arms were really tight and in the sweatshirt and it was just uncomfortable to like move a lot in it. And now it is not. So I'm definitely noticing a difference and I also see a difference in my face as well. So that is our update for week three. I hope you all have a fantastic Thanksgiving holiday with your family or your friends or your loved ones and that you get to eat some good food, eat some turkey. I'm going to eat the turkey. I don't know how much of it, but I'm going to eat it. Um, and mashed potatoes and all of the yummy things, just small amounts. That's what we can do. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next week for the final update on the two and a half milligram shot and hopefully an update on whether or not I'm able to obtain the five milligram because I've heard so much stuff about the coupon. So fingers crossed for that. Until then guys, I hope you have a fantastic day. I might have another what I eat in a day coming for you soon. I actually thought about filming it tomorrow on Thanksgiving. Because that could be interesting, right? Let me know your thoughts below on that. But thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you soon. Bye.